yell at me on hey, TV. Hey, you're the one yelling. Come on. I'd slap you in the head with one of them churros. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he's going to wear that man. outfit again. Slender Man and uh, Grim Reaper. There you go. Slim Reaper. Um, so, slow start for, for Wendy as Durant gets the steal. And then, you know how you another start. turnover. How you finish. And then, you know, he played great defense here, and Kevin Durant says, I've been the best scorer in basketball the last decade. That's just a that. tough shot. Yeah, I'm a tough shot maker and taker. That, that's the best, the best, better offense against great defense. Because the shot Wimby was forcing him to take, he, he was took. looking for it. Yeah. He was actually looking for it. There's Eric Gordon all by himself knocking down a three. It's all Phoenix at this point. Ooh. Grayson Damn. Allen connects for three. You know what's interesting? You sure oh, all got him. Ooh. Oh, no. oh, I'm going to get him back, too. Look at KD. Mm. Up and over Wimby. But moments later. That's my man Paul Westphal. Oh, oh, so Wimby Stretch. Oh, Stretch Armstrong. You got a head, too. Over three <laughs> Eubanks. Stretch Armstrong. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. That was his first bucket of the game. Yeah, nice and one. Oh. Late in the second quarter. 63-45, Suns at the half. Mm. For three. See, Ernie, once he sees the league once and yeah. calms down, I think that's when we'll see the real women now. Like, right now, he's, he's just a lack of patience in the early going. And when he's patient, he's very deadly. And, uh, and Reading and, situations. And he's got to learn the situation. Like, sometimes you don't have a... You got you can shoot a you can shoot a shot. You think that's a there you go. Somehow he gets that to go. Right. Those things happen when yeah. you're that close to the rim and yeah. you're he's too far big. away from the basket too much too at much time. time. Yeah. He's gonna have to get a little stronger and a little meaner. Mm -hmm. do the some Spurs more. would outscore the oh. Suns 33 to 19 in the fourth quarter. Man, that's Devin deep. Vassell Man. stepping back. He took some of the worst shots you ever gonna see. Yeah, he, he hit some great shots. Yeah, but yeah, but he, they took some they, he, he took some bad ones. He took some bad ones. Just because they go in. Don't so help defense at? KD right there, 114, right 109. Oh. See, just patience, patience. Mid-range, I think Pop is going to learn. Ernie, Ernie, that's not a good shot. Yeah. I think but that's Pop a good, good follow yeah. by uh, Wimby. And then this happened yeah, to that's, KD. That's why, Ernie, you don't give up on the play. You don't. You, you say you're down three. Doesn't matter. You continue to play, and all of a sudden, that, you're up one. But see, that's why. That's when you, when guys are trying to get fouls and don't pass the ball. The three guys are guarding you. If you can count, that means some guys are wide open. If you let guys at home, you never try to hold the ball and get two free throws. Pass the damn ball. 115-114 is your final. Keldon Johnson goes for 27, including that game-winning steal and dunk. And, and, and Wimbanyama goes for 18, 8, and 4 blocks as San Antonio completes a remarkable fourth quarter comeback. 115-114. Here's Coach Pop. It's one game. They responded great after a 30-point loss. I couldn't be prouder of them. They just... As we always talk about, pounded the rock. They just kept playing through it no matter what. We made a gazillion mistakes. But it's a game of mistakes, and so does every team. Uh, but we just kept playing. And that's the, the best thing uh, about the group. I was really proud of them. Did you see anything different in how they handled those mistakes coming off of that, that Clipper game? So after a 40-point <clears throat> loss to the Clippers, you go to Phoenix, well, you, you trail by 20, and you come back and beat them. Well, I told you, that's, a, that's to me, is going to be the hardest thing for Victor to learn. He's, it's probably the first time in his life he's going to lose. I guarantee you he's never lost a game by 40 points. I don't know anything about the French League, but he ain't lost no game by 40 points. But for him to come back, be down 20, you know, they, they're a young team. They're building for the future. They, they have nothing at stake. They're not going to make the playoffs. This is a process. You know, uh, unfortunately, in our business today, we got a lot of gas bags on television. They tell you, this guy's a flop. This guy's a flop. And I'm like, wait a minute. These guys aren't flops after one year or two years. Because, you know, they're not like us. Well, they st we stayed in school X amount of years. We're drafting kids out of, you know, we were going out of high school or six months in college. We need to take a step back and say, yo, man, there's no instant success. You know, COVID, Let this process. Yes, I know, mean, because I, I told you, I've been in the NBA for 40 years, 
only one guy, only one guy came in and was great right away, and that was LeBron. Kobe struggled. Kevin Gar Garnett struggled. He, he uh, struggled. struggled. You, you didn't come right out of high school, fool. Okay, well, say that. You just said okay. only one guy came in. Okay, okay. all right, okay. Uh, okay. Calm okay. Calm okay. Calm okay. Don't calm down. Don't calm down. Well, you weren't but no, you no, no, weren't Shaq in the beginning. You you won. What? You won. Don't do that. What? Don't, don't do, do what? That. Don't do that. Don't play me like that. <laughs> Don't play me who like was that. he if he wasn't Shaq then? Who was he? Yeah, uh, yeah, don't play me like that. I'm sure it's one of the people who he was. He was more Clark Kent than Superman. Okay, all right. Don't do that. Shaq. Don't you, do that, Shaq. Shaq. Shaq Did y'all make the playoffs your, first, your rookie year? No. Oh, what what are not, you talking about? Double one game. But okay. I had numbers. I, I had numbers not, yeah. No, I'm just talking about you didn't dominate. Like, you, uh, you actually, wanted to. I did. You, you, you I did. From day one. Yes, I did. But your Stop. point, Charles. You ain't got no point. He just over there jibber jabbing. <laughs> no, I don't. You got no damn point. <laughs> I got Stop a point. The, the notion that a guy who's 18 or 19 years old is going to come in and dominate the NBA right away, that's just not going to happen. The players are too good. And he's in the Western Conference. Other than the Portland Trailblazers, who are in a complete rebuild, they're not better than any team in the West. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree with Chuck on this point about patience because the difference with what, what makes a good player a great player and an average player a good player is just the decisions. So when you don't have experience like Wimbayama, he's not making – he has the skill set, but he doesn't always have the decision-making. So right here, I'm shooting shots that are comfortable. But when you when you become these are all great highlights. I, I'm talking about at times when he's not great. And I always thought it is because of his decisions that he makes. Should I post every Gordon for three more seconds? You know what? Should I back down the ball two more seconds? Right. That's what LeBron James understands. He understands the rationale of the game and when things should happen. And then it matches your skill set because he has an unbelievable skill set at seven foot four. And like, like I like Chuck, uh, Chuck said, I don't really know anybody who came into. The, no, I'm just not believe that. Alone. And that's I don't believe that alone. <laughs> and the only thing that's really good for him that he has a coach like Greg Popovich, the system, because usually when you get down by 30, you automatically quit. But as Coach Popovich said, they just kept playing and playing. And the things that Kenny mentioned, he's going to have to learn. You know, he will be a great player. You know, it's Chuck made great point. It's different from the French French league, but you know, when you come in. As a rookie, you, you're just seeing things. And what did you, you have see to things, see? I had to learn how to pass out of the double team. I okay. had to learn how to play play meaner. And I had to learn that finesse was not going to work with me. So that's when I said, okay, the next year, I'm going to turn it up power. I, I got to take my time and learn. Like, I was just, like, moving real quick, but I would learn. Like, if they come from the four, Horace Grant is wide open for the shot. Like, I was always looking for Penny, always looking right. for these decisions. guys. Decisions. So, it was just decisions. Once you got see better. the game. So, so once he sees the game, he's going to be fine. So, yeah. you, didn't, you didn't make the playoffs your first year? No, we lost by one game. Well, you, so that answer is no. But I had. But so, I had I'm just so, so the answer is no. But I had so better numbers. No. But I had better numbers than you. So I, you were you number one pick in the draft. Okay, you're, so, you're bigger than me. Okay, but your dumb ass just said nobody uh, came in and done no, it. I did. You didn't recognize me. But you didn't. You went to read the cup and shut up. Yeah, who gave you that score? Aisha, come on, right here. Who gave you that cup? Yeah, be quiet. Read the cup. Talking about nobody's guy. I came in. I came in the door. I said it before. The Phoenix Suns, both teams, two and two. Over there drinking that damn red my wine. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Chill. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, that dessert is not real. Oh, Nick Cosillo, that is real, brother. Yep, here yep, we go. Bro, you're you're absolutely <laughs> right, Edward. You are absolutely right. When we come back, the highlights from Cleveland. Nick's and the Cavs in game one of our double dip.